you guys want crispy buffalo spicy chicken, beef and cheese tostadas? Look, this is what it looks like. Or pork sausage rigatoni in a cream sauce. Rick and Morty? You get to pick one. Honey, what do you want me to cook today? Okay. The pork sausage. Okay. Okay, mama's gonna make some dinner. I'm gonna need you boys to behave. And dinner will be served. That's my baby dog. Okay, I'm gonna need some motherfucking uh. Before we go on to today's video, I do wanna say this portion of the video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh is basically the best thing out there. They send you all the ingredients that you need, pre-proportioned and already pre-prepped, right at your doorstep and fresh for you to make some bomb bomb meals. You save time having to go to the grocery store, looking up new recipes, prepping all the ingredients. They take care of all of that for you to just focus on cooking your family some bomb meals. My favorite part about HelloFresh, all the ingredients always arrive fresh right at my doorstep. And even though these look like restaurant quality meals, they do come with super simple to follow instructions. They have so many recipes to pick from and also something for everybody from low carb, vegetarian and kid friendly. You are also able to change your delivery days and skip a week whenever you need. It's simple, easy, yummy, fresh. So now let's get to cook some dinner. Okay guys, so I served on this plate for me and Alex so we can taste it because baby juice is <laughs> sitting right there. Okay, taste it. You want some? Taste test time for me. Mmm, this is bomb. Especially if you like pasta, which I love pasta. If you guys want to try out HelloFresh, head over to HelloFresh.com and use my code 12LDM. It'll give you guys 12 free meals and free shipping. Again, head over to HelloFresh.com and use my code 12LDM for 12 free meals and also free shipping. Now on to the video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell right next to it. That way you get notified every single time we upload a new video. What are you doing? Nothing. Oh, I think we're sacando la lengua or something. No. Wait, put it down so we don't get cut. Cut blocked what? So we don't get copyrighted. Um. Anyways, we just left the gym, and um, if I'm kind of doing this, well, you guys probably already know because I've literally been talking about it on my Facebook Live, on my Instagram. Literally told you guys everywhere about it because I've been a little bit not really low key, but you know I couldn't really post much. Um, couldn't really even do my makeup and stuff because I got a cold sore, which is finally gone. I just have like a little scab, which I want to say it should be gone by today, if not tomorrow. For which real? means y'all guessed it, me and Alex have not kissed. Literally, we still haven't kissed just because. You know, he's like, I don't want to get a cold sore. I've never gotten a cold sore, so. Yeah, and obviously these are very um, contagious. These are very contagious, so. I mean, we've been like, like this, kissing. Not like that, but like <laughs> on the side and stuff. And normally we'll kiss, you know, like in the morning, good morning. A little make out here and there. <laughs> Just Stop kidding. It. So I wanted to do the intro to this video, which I want to do a tres leche. Tres Leches cake with you guys. Comment down below if Tres Leches is your favorite kind of cake. Tres Leches is like a lot of people's favorite cake. So I have made this live with you guys a while back and I want to do it here on YouTube in case you guys ever, you know, want to come back and watch it. Look for the recipe, which I will leave it down below. You guys can just come back to this video. And yeah, not to toot my own horn, but I really, really like how my Tres Leches cakes come out. They are bomb. I like Tres Leches cake. It's not like, oh, it's my favorite kind of cake, but I will definitely eat it. Especially, I feel like it's one of those cakes that are kind of empalagosos but if you're in the vibe for it, like se tantoja un pastel de tres leches, I got you guys. We are going to be making that in today's video and I hope you guys recreate it. It is super easy to make. Okay guys, dropped off my baby daddy. We are at Walmart and we are going to do some shopping. So I'm gonna get the ingredients here. Um, everything you guys can get it at your local Walmart. And there's also some other things I need to grab. So let's go. Okay, so we have the lemons because these are a must always. And then this is the salad that I always get. I just put limon and a whole bunch of sal. And then also some strawberries so for the this delicious cake and some broccoli. So I like to eat this salad with uh, the lime and salt and then also broccoli. And that is my snack. Okay, guys, back from the store, I got everything that I need. Um, so this is just like any other recipe. Of course, there's so many um, ways to do it, but I feel like this way is yum, yum, yum. And it is also um, very simple. So all you guys will need is this right here. This is the brand that I like to use, and then I use the vanilla. 
So basically all of the powdered dried ingredients already come ready for you here And this is only like a dollar twenty nine So I got two boxes and I do just follow the ingredients that are in the back of the box Except I replace the cup of water with a cup of milk. So basically I replace the water with the milk No, that was not fast forwarded. That's just how fast I crack eggs. I should have taken off the lid off this, huh? Because <laughs> look, I've been here for like 30 minutes. <laughs> And that is it as far as the batter for the cake mix. Why does it feel like that? For the cake mix, very Food Network batter. So now that my batter is ready, and then I already sprayed this with some baking spray. And I'll pour in here my whole batter. I also tap it on the counter so any bubbles rise up. And now my cake is ready to go in the oven. Okay guys, my cake is out of the oven. I flipped it over, just gonna let it fully cool here overnight. So normally I would take it out, let it cool, and then ponerle las leches. But because right now it is nighttime and this is still warm, I'm gonna just let it cool completely overnight and then I'll see you guys tomorrow in the morning. The next morning. Okay, so next morning I'm actually about to head out to the gym. So before I do that, le voy a poner las leches just because I want for them to sit, I want for the cake to sit on the fridge for at least a couple of hours. And now I'm gonna put it to back in my cake pan just like this so my cake is back on the pan and now as far as the leches it is a tres leches cake so the first one is one can of sweetened condensed milk this is the 14 ounce i do like to use la lechera which sometimes i find it sometimes i don't at walmart but pretty much any sweetened condensed milk will work and then next is going to be a can of evaporated milk this is the 12 ounce lastly i'm gonna add one third cup of whole milk and then I'm just going to whisk this all together. Okay, once I have whisked this, we have just one solid milk. Now for my cake, you want to grab a fork and just poke all around the cake just so the milk really soaks into the bread. Okay, once my cake is nice and stabbed, I'm gonna grab my leche. And as you can see, the bread starts soaking up the milk, or should I say soaking in. So I don't know, this is also kind of a preference how you like your tres leches cake. Some of you guys might like your cake very, very soaked and some of you guys might like it a little bit dry and a little bit mushy. Personally, I don't like it too, too wet, but I also don't like for the bread to be dry at all. I just like it mushy evenly all around. Okay, so now that my leches are on here, I do have to put it in the fridge at least for a couple of hours, two, three, four. Preferably, uh, make it overnight, let it sit in the fridge overnight. However, I baked it kind of late, so I don't have the nighttime and I'm vlogging. So I'm just gonna put it in the fridge for about four to five hours. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this in the fridge. So I'll leave it in there for about five, six hours. Gonna head out, run some errands, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, and I'm back. I just took out the cake from the fridge. It's been there for actually about six, actually going on seven hours, so it's been a while. And as you can see, the milk is like completely soaked into the bread. I'm gonna get my cake board and just flip this over. So I flipped my cake over. Ooh. And a little bit of the milk from me flipping it over um, did come out. So let me just wipe that off. So for frosting, I have some whipped cream right here. This is a vanilla whipped cream. And I don't know about you guys, but I like to top it with the whipped cream and then also strawberries. I feel like that's the perfect combination for a tres leches cake. So now to frost the cake. Also, if you don't want to frost it this way, you don't have to. Um, you know, like the whole actual frosting of the cake. You can actually just leave it on here and then just put the whipping cream on top with the strawberries and it is still ready to serve. Or of course, you can also go this extra step of actually frosting the whole entire cake.
done frosting the cake, so it is just a plain white cake. And then we're going to pop the strawberries on top. Wait, let, let me have baby to taste it. Also, by the way, Alex and baby do have long hair right now. <laughs> They're actually about to get a haircut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Whose cake is that, mom? Yeah! It's a... <laughs> <laughs> Try it. They're about to get haircut, so I'm actually gonna post a picture now of them after their haircut because they're, they're really gonna good. look handsome. You want more? Did you like it? He's like debating if he likes it. More? Mmm, my mommy makes the best cakes ever. Mars? Mars? You want more of my cake? Dang, bro, he liked it. Oh my goodness. He likes anything. <laughs> Babe, don't follow him if he likes anything. <laughs> Actually, anything that's like sweet, like ice cream, cakes, cookies. He loves it. <gasps> Not on the cake. What do you rate yeah, the cake? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he really liked it. So I'm gonna close out this video right here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you guys do recreate this cake, don't forget to tag me on my Instagram, on my Twitter, and I hope you guys love it, especially if you are a Tres Leches cake lover out there. But thank you guys so much for watching. We love you guys, and we'll see you on... Oh my God. <laughs> he keeps stabbing his fingers. We love you guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Oh. Mas? Oh my goodness. <laughs>